god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, rock bottom. Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Juddle Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we finished off the Mermelayer by pulling off almost the impossible. Well, it was close to impossible, not fully impossible, but we did it first try. If it was fully impossible, then it would be impossible. What that? What I mean by that is the rolling ball arena. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to be entering probably my least favorite level of this game, Rock Bottom. Let's go. Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. Bob, I'm actually glad you're here, believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. God dang, Mrs. Puff. With your stealing artwork and stuff, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, that was the Sleepy Time Robot. I kind of skipped the text by accident. This is a Sleepy Time Robot. SpongeBob must sneak carefully when near him or he will wake. Now, for this one, all you have to do, use the Bubble Bowl, kills him. You can use the Bubble Bowl if they are facing away from you, but if they're not facing away from you, what they will do is they will just make it so they deflect it, and that is not nice. I did not mean to hit that one. Okay, can I still make it up here with this? I want to see. And no, I cannot. God dang it, I can't believe I did that. You know what? I'm going to kill myself. I know this isn't really the most conventional way of doing things, but I kind of want to get those shiny objects up there, because I usually never do, and oh my god, that was really high up. Also, or no, that, 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 that guy is still there, so let's get rid of him, because I do not want to deal with him. But now, for the love of good, thank you. For the love of good, I guess I was about to say for the love of God, but I guess I didn't, but there we go, that's what I wanted to do. And before we do anything else to continue, I'm not even going to worry about those shiny objects over there, but let's go over here. <laughs> Memories. Don't you remember that, everyone? Don't you remember that episode where Spongebob was just, you know, he was trying to get out of rock bottom, but he was not able to get out of rock bottom. Also, something weird... This goes with another level in this game. Why is there a whole level meant for Rock Bottom when, like, Rock Bottom was only in one episode of the SpongeBob SquarePants show? I don't know why I called it that. I almost called it the SpongeBob SquarePants game. Now, originally, what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to sneak across these things, and then that'd be what you're supposed to do. But there is kind of a way you can do this a little bit differently. The way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I started walking a little bit there, but that's what would happen. If you don't tiptoe, you can walk. That is why I just jump across these, because it's a lot faster, and there's really no risk of anything happening, really. Oh my god, okay, this one is gonna be a hard jump. There we go, okay, hey, Bubble Buddy. I gotta say, Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. Look at that upside down building. Look at us. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. Yes, <laughs> you know what we say? We gotta get our sneak on. I don't even know if there's really any joke to go with that or any song I'd wanna go with that. I mean, I guess you could say sneaker as a way of doing this, but oh God. I haven't faced one of these sleepy time robots like this in a long time. What you have to do is you have to sneak up very carefully on these guys and use your tiptoeing, and once you get too close to them, you hit them. Now, they will get a little bit of an alarm once you get close to him, but yeah, it's not really that bad. The alarm will go away eventually. Well, no, never mind, because what I'm trying to say is you'll have an alarm, but the alarm will barely do anything because you already killed them. But if you do move, then that's what would happen. Their alarm would go and you'd keep getting shocked, and that would not be good. Now, 
I'm not exactly sure if that would be actually a shock of what they do, and uh, that guy up there is going to be a pain in my butt for later. Now, you might be wondering why we hit that one switch up there, or I mean down here. Well, that button will come and play a little bit later, and also this thing will come in a little bit later because we cannot actually get there yet. So what we have to do is we kind of have to take this bottom route here. I know, this first part of Rock Bottom is a little bit, like... Well, I almost said skeptical. It is a little weird to get through, like, here. But, you know, it, this could, place could be kind of skeptical, because we are in, like, just this very deep, dark area. Now, I don't believe a Thunder Tiki will hit a button. That is what I thought. So we're gonna have to hit this button by ourselves, and I think we have to Bubble Bowl it. But basically what we're doing here is we're making it so Sandy can swing across these rooftops later. Actually, no. Would they be rooftops? Because these things are actually, like, they're not really rooftops, they're roof bottoms. Because they're at the bottom of the building, so I'm not exactly sure what it'd be called. Ay -ay -ay. All I know is that, who this level might be pretty dark at times. The reason why is because since I'm looking at my TV at an angle because I sit down when I record, it's gonna be a little dark to see. I mean, the one thing that was really dark was the one freaking cutscene. Oh my god. The cutscene showing the Sleepy Time robot, like, everything just looked black. I'm like, ooh, this is gonna be a fun level to go through. Hopefully I can get all the socks on my first try, because I'm not- Okay, that was actually weird. You can kind of see how the Sleepy Time robot can deflect your bubble ball. What I was trying to say was that, uh, with the socks, kind of, I uh, hopefully I'll be able to get all of them now. Hopefully this will be fine, because I want to try to get this one guy without the other guy being in his sight. Because that would be good, it's just these guys keep walking away from me, and that is really bad. There we go, got rid of that guy. Now, let's get this one last guy. Because as you see, this whole endeavor here is to get that one button way over there. And the reason I'm going really slow is because I do not want to risk it by going a little too fast and then accidentally doing something, and I hit that? That, that? that was a hit? I'm not exactly sure how that would count as a hit, but okay. Now, let's go all the way back to where we were. Luckily, with this good old teleportation box, it'll bring us all the way back here where all these robots are waiting to kill us. Except not really, because there's really no robots that'll do a one at KO. I mean, those Sleepy Time robots, though, they are a little overpowered. The reason I say the Sleepy Time robots are a little overpowered are because- well, is because, uh... <laughs> if you get spotted by them, they'll keep attacking you, and they'll keep attacking you as long as they're in your sight. And that is really annoying, if you think about it. Because what will happen is you're in their sights, and they'll be like, Oh, well, let's keep attacking you. And they will not stop attacking you. hi 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 I feel like my commentary is weird here, but I'm gonna give an excuse of, well, I'm a little nervous for this level, because I have not done this level in such a long time. Luckily, I know where everything is, or at least for the most part, I know where everything is, so it's not like, oh, well, I don't know what to do here. There is a sock you can get up here, I believe. I think we just have to kind of mess with a jump here, or kill ourselves, because that would work as well. Luckily, the button we pressed, I believe, will stay activated, so we don't have to worry about that, but where does it put us? It puts us right here, okay. But there is a sock I want to get, and I know where the sock is, but I've and I've done it before, so it's not like I can't get it. It's just I believe you're supposed to get through this as Sandy, and I believe I'm supposed to go up this way anyways. Let's see, jump here, jump on here, just keep jumping up here, and there we go. That is how you get that sock. A little bit of a cheap way to get it, but you you know, sometimes you have to do things the cheap way, because if you didn't do it the cheap way, it wouldn't be the correct way. Also, hit this right here. I believe you can do this as Sandy later, but this will make it a lot easier so you can get that thing going, so that you can get a golden spatula that's over there, yeah. A lot of preparation stuff here, I mean, not as much as Ghoul Lagoon, but there is some preparation stuff, and oh my god, I hate this thing. I really hate this one, because you get such a short amount of time to do this, and this go- this is a really narrow platform, so usually what I do is not that. Thank god for checkpoints. All I had to do was kill myself when I was back up here, yeah. Not exactly the most conventional way of doing things, but I think I've already mentioned that. If you do want to get, like, a really big shortcut, you can just kill yourself. And you know what? Yeah, that's not all that hard. I just kind of, uh, went out of the bowl bowl in a really bad area. Oh my god, I cannot see where these things are. This is gonna be really hard. Because usually you can see where the things are, but this is so dark, it's really hard for me to see where the little landing points are. But luckily I can just make it out of where the furniture are landing, so I can just make it like that. I feel like my grammar is not good here, because I just said that I can see where they are land- Actually, no. That, that is good, okay. I was about to say, I think I was- I thought I was talking singular for a second, but I guess I was talking plural now. 
If you really want to go over here, you can go over here and destroy that one cannon. I'll do this anyways, just because you can. I mean, you get a nice little shiny object there. I mean, you get more from the Thunder Kiki, so I don't know. It's just like, it's a thing where it's like, oh yeah, you want to destroy this, so in case you do fall off, you don't have to worry about that thing anymore. Well, don't mind if you do. But I believe what happens is if you like die I believe it comes back anyway so it doesn't matter and these toothbrushes why are you such a pain I don't know why but sometimes I just cannot wall jump for the life of me maybe because I get a little overzealous with turning my control stick or whatever I don't know it's just kind of how it is but let's go to yeah let's go to Miss Sandy so we can actually continue with this rock bottomness area of rock bottomness of rock bottomness did I say rock bottomness a lot also let me check something Yep, there are nine socks in here. Just wanted to make sure, because now I- Because at least I know how many socks there are in the level. I kind of had an idea about where the socks were, and I do not like these because I keep getting hit by the stupid robots when I think I should be getting hit by the tartar. Except, wait, did I get hit by the tartar? I'm not sure. Okay, I believe we have to go over here first before we can do anything over there with Sandy. At least that's what I believe. I don't know and ooh, getting a little tricky with the two tartars. Maybe it is getting a little tricky, because I'm getting a little stupid with getting hit all the time. And, uh, this is gonna be a pain. I don't have to worry about that little chuck right now, it's just it's gonna be a pain when it comes to it. Now, hopefully I can make it over here without this tartar being a big pain in my butt. That is what I wanted. Because getting over here, I believe, will make it so you have the correct leverage in order to get to the next part where we need to go. This is only for a little bit of a thing. But this thing right over here, this is what we need to get. I'm going to wait it out a turn, because as you saw, it kind of went all the way over there. And I wanted to make it so it's a little bit easier, but now I think it's fine. So what we have to do here, so you have to kind of jump on that, which goes in the wrong direction. But it makes it so you can get onto this thing, where you can get to this golden spatula. Which is actually, finally, the first golden spatula in this level. I mean, yeah, you, you go a pretty long while without getting even one golden spatula in this level. Like, we're literally 12 minutes into the first episode right now of Rock Bottom, and we finally got a golden spatula. I mean, it might go a little bit faster. Actually, no. I don't think it's e even going to pick up until, like, the last area of Rock Bottom. That is kind of how slow it is, because, I mean, there are a lot of socks you can get on the way. It's just that a lot of... I don't, I don't even know anymore. What I'm trying to say is it can be a little bit cumbersome to get some of the stuff. I mean... Okay, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so I'm just going to stop talking about that. I'm not going to stop in talking in general, I'm just going to stop talking about that. Ay ay ay. I just, like, I don't even know anymore. Okay, for the love of God, please, just make it, make it out. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Sorry about that. That's just something I really wanted to make sure I got through, because that part can be a little bit of a doozy. But, look at this. We have good old Spongebob here. Because, well, you need to get Spongebob here, because there's a little... Well, I'm back there. Sorry about that. I guess my phone rang. Actually, no. It's not any... Well, it's the home phone, but I don't have a home phone in my room currently. I mean, I usually do, but it's actually kind of dead and somewhere else, so I don't have to worry about the ring being loud, but I decided to spare something just so you didn't have to worry about that. Anyways, Rock Bottom Museum. Monica boy! Are you on patrol down here? No. This is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the Golden Spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. You have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle-free? Kid, 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 this is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now. You see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir! That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. Okay, you told us our objective, then he's like, see that thing? That's where you exit after you're done with the objective. Okay, Barnacle Boy. Thanks for mentioning the obvious. I mean, that's not even where we get the golden spatula. So technically, you don't even have to do that. Well, I mean... You kind of have to if you want to keep going with the level. Also, see that sock down there? If you didn't guess already, we can't really get that right now. Because, well, it's kind of in a laser field. Please go away, thank you. This is something I just do not like, because you kind of have to time these correctly. And hopefully that'll go away eventually. There we go. And that's probably the hardest one, now thinking of it. So I don't know why I did that one first. I mean, I don't know. 
I mean, all of these little laser fields aren't all that tricky. I mean, you kind of have to make sure that you stay on these little things, which I have to say, I give props to the designers here. I really like how they did this, because they made it so you jump on these little art artifacts, and this one gives you way more than enough time between going from one to the other, so you can wait till it's all fully gone, and then you can just keep going. Also, I believe about every one of the switches has an underwear there, so in case you do get hit by the electricity, it makes it so you will not get hurt all that bad because of that, and I believe we have one left, which this one is probably the e actually, I don't know, this one I kind of find a little bit tricky, because the way I do it is I jump on here, then I wait for that to go, then I go through here and get to this one over here, there we go, okay. That one, the only reason I find that one tricky is because usually, for me, I always have to get on the, like, very thin, narrow rail. Also, when the lasers go, for some odd reason, the robots appear. I don't know why the robots appear, but just the robots appear. God dang, that was a burp. And I also killed the robot when it in that caught, so yeah. That was a robot that I killed, and that was a sock that I got. Who? Now, you might be thinking, we got a lot of the security out of the way. But we didn't get all the security out of the way. We do have a few more things we need to get, and a few more, uh, little sleepy time robots to get, which luckily, these ones are stationary, so you don't have to worry about them moving anywhere or not. Now, one reason I don't like these sleepy time robots is because if you accidentally walk and they start waking up, it scares the crap out of me. Because, like, all of a sudden it makes a sound, and it's like, oh my god, jump scare, but it's in a Spongebob game, oh my god, but yeah. I believe going down steps will not cause you to go too fast or anything, at least I don't think so. Yeah, that does not work. Now, I believe they will react if you actually touch them before anything, so that is something you probably should look out for. At least in my eyes, you should probably look out for it. Now, hopefully you stay like that, so I can just get you. Either that, or you can just walk by me right here, and I can just, on the back swing, just swing at you. Hopefully, or maybe you're just going to keep going in circles like that, because you probably are a little stupid. Now, hit! There you go. Okay, I thought that was a little far from hitting, but I guess it was not far. Luckily, it wasn't far, because if it was far... Well, I mean, if it was far, then I would have been a little bit screwed. Yeah, screwed would be the word to say. I mean, it's definitely a lot better than other words I could have said of what that is, but now I'm going on to one of my tangents where I'm like, let's talk about this thing and be all weird about it and say weird things, because... I guess that's what I'm good at? I don't know. It's a way to do things when I'm like, there's not really anything to talk about in here. Because it's very simple. Well, actually, no, there is a little bit of a thing to talk about right here. You want to make sure you uh, be careful with these seesaws. Not exactly here, but there is one right up here that you want to be careful about. You want to make sure this goes here, and you want to be really fast so you don't have to worry about that little laser field. Now, now we kind of have to get a few more switches, which, if you want to know, the switches make, like, each switch, I believe, makes one robot. And... Look, okay. We gotta, we gotta just admire the ingenious here. We're supposed to be getting these lost artwork pieces, and one of them's in the frickin' museum. I mean, come on, I mean, I know it's because Mrs. Puff kinda wants to steal the artwork, but still, what the crap? Why even do that? It's like really stupid, you know? And you are a really stupid guy for hitting me. You do not hit Mr. Jordan here. Now... Actually, there is something I want to get before we end off this episode, because we are getting to about that time where it's like, you know what, episodes end at that time, but I kind of want to get this golden spatula up here before anything else, because in between the episodes, I'm actually going to be switching to Sandy, and there is a big reason why I'm going to be switching to Sandy, because in this little area in the museum, you can actually get a good amount of socks if you have Sandy, like the one you kind of saw at the left corner for a little bit, but... After we get this golden spatula, I have to say that that is about it for this episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Now that we have 40 golden spatulas, in the next episode, I will meet you at this exact spot as Sandy to continue this museum of amazingness with very swinging lights. Look at those lights. So, this has been Juddle Play saying see you later and goodbye.